Thank you so much, Sakina. A good morning to you and, of course, to our viewers at home. It really is a big day for the SABC today. It is all about OTT and SABC+. Plus. Now, OTT, basically the provision of television as well as film services over the Internet. But the beautiful thing about this is that it is at the request and it is to suit the requirements of the individual consumer. So the SABC really putting the power in the hands of each and every single one of our viewers. OTT standing for over the top, meaning that the content provider in this instance the SABC is going over the top in terms of the existing services but joining me now to elucidate us some more on this is the CEO of the SABC Mr. Madota Mklangwe. Mr. Mklangwe I guess Kulu Mamuna now and I'm Sanja it's such a big day for the SABC but let's talk about how it is so difficult in getting these cuts as the SABC to keep up with the competition for eyeballs particularly against private companies who for them it's so much easier to to manoeuvre in terms of broadcasting and the evolution of broadcasting? Uh, good, good morning. Indeed, it's a very big day for the SABC today because we're launching our very own OTT platform and we call it SABC+. Plus. And I think the biggest issue about this is, is the content that we now have is not going to just reside on traditional audiovisual platforms, but it will also migrate towards the digital platforms. And at the heart of this is to ensure that the SABC can compete fairly favorably and be relevant in the market space. But very key also is the principle of universal access because SABC content will now be everywhere and anywhere for anyone. So it's quite a big uh, milestone for us as the company. And you speak about this big milestone. When we do something of this nature, it's initially foreign to everyone, for the broadcaster coming into it, for the viewer at home who may be initially skeptical at first and coming mm. from a place of a lack of trust. Are there particular timelines that you're looking at in terms of when are we moving to profitability in terms of this new platform? Look, the, this platform, I think the biggest issue about it, and it's an advantage for us, is that we're now becoming officially a multi-platform, multi-device uh, content provider. And as you know, uh, we're now completing the missing piece in terms of the content distribution strategy as we migrate to digital. And it's also going to give our clients and customers an advantage in the sense that now we are able to ensure that they can monetize and we can actually grow eyeballs, audiences, which is very linked to revenue generation for the SABC. Now, content is always king when yeah. it comes to streaming services because you are competing with companies that have been doing this for a longer period of time. Are there any, is there anything that we can expect in terms of different content or is there new things that are going to be coming onto the platform? What are we looking at in that regard? The, the SABC is unrivaled when it comes to archives, uh, historic content. And I think what is important now is that we will be able to offer a variety of local and international content. We'll have all our 19 radio stations, our three free-to-air television stations, SABC Sports, as well as uh, SABC News Channel 24-7. You speak about SABC Sports, and of course I am a sports presenter. When we look at initially the offering of the SABC Sports Channel and it being linked to Talcom One, there were certain restrictions with certain rights, such as the PSL. Is there anything of that nature that we're expecting in this regard, or Gumnandi Laikai? Gumnandi Kai. I think uh, the, the biggest issue, as you know, uh, a whole lot of our audiences uh, are now migrating from the historical uh, traditional platforms to digital and from a sports point of view we would be able now to broadcast this uh, you know that for example for the world cup we'll be able to broadcast the 29 matches even with some of the psl matches remember this is our own ott platform when we procure those rights it does give us an opportunity to also use this on our digital platforms and Mr. Mkwawe, I'm going to say that I guess Kulma Nabande Makaya Wuti Njongo Basei Kwana Le Platform Le Nasfun Wuti Bayan Zengayo because I think as a SABC it's always been clear that you want to inform, you want to educate mm -hmm. and you want to entertain. So Amazu Akwenje as we part. Look, th this is a great uh, milestone for the SABC and I think it's great also for our audiences. It's very inter it's interactive, the platform. They can use it in the manner that they can uh, to be able to view all all our content, uh, whether you're talking radio, television, drama, and all of the great content that we have. Congratulations, because it really is important to take the strides in the right direction. We are living in a digital era. Thank you very much.
That is, of course, almost my daughter, the CEO of the SABC. We are talking SABC Plus. It's our brand new streaming platform here, SABC, which will allow you to catch all the SABC content, 19 radio stations, three TV channels, no restrictions for all the sports lovers when it comes to what you can catch, which is offered to you by SABC Sport. That's how we wrap it up for here for now. I will be catching up with you later. So much more to talk about when it comes to SABC Plus and what it means for you as the viewer of the SABC.